Hi guys, welcome to Think Tech Tips at vengeance-studios.com Okay, today we're going to be having a quick look at the gradient and text effects tools you can find in Pixelmator. Okay, so go ahead and open up Pixelmator. Um, this tutorial will work for both Pixelmator and Pixelmator 2, so don't worry. Um, first of all, you want to go ahead and create a blank canvas. Okay, so we're going to do 1280 by 800 because that is um, the screen. I would like to design it for and we're just going to go with 72 um, pixels per inch for resolution today and I'll explain um, how that varies later on in the uh, series okay so click OK okay so then I'll bring up your new canvas what you want to do is head over to the gradient tool here where my cursor is click on that and then you'll notice a gradients bar here if for those of you that don't already have this open you just want to go to view um, show gradients and then you have it. Uh, today we're going to be using a custom gradient of mine which looks um, pretty cool, it looks really sleek and modern and is used to design this. So What you want to do, you want to create a new, create a new gradient by using 17% uh, grayscale and then 8% once you've done that, click on your gradient, we go to view, show grid, because we want a radial that's in the middle, and then just drag out to when you think it looks nice, and then we'll go back to view, and we will hide the grid. Okay, so as you, as you can see, we've made our gradient, but it looks a bit um, bland. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to... We're going to go to filter, stylize, and we're going to add noise. This get this um we only need about one percent, which will give the color a nice texture and depth. And there we go. Hold on, that doesn't look too good. Oh, that'll be fine. Okay, so you've got that um. You've got that depth there. Hold on, let me just repeat that. Actually, that. Okay, I'm going to take monochrome off, but um, you decide what looks best for you. Okay, once we've done this, we're going to go to text. Okay, so we've got our text. And I'm using BN near 5000, which is, if you type it in Google, it will come up. And then just download it. Right, we're going to change it to white. And then just type in whatever you want, yeah, whatever you like. Which we are then going to move into the center. I'll move it just below center. Um, if you've got a logo to place, that looks about right. And then what you want to do, because we're going to add a little glow to it, you're going to go right click, duplicate, right click, convert into pixels, and then you want to come up to filter, um, blur, and then Gaussian blur, and then just fiddle around with the um, blur until you think it looks um, nice. So I'm going to go for 2.4 pixels. Okay, so we've done that. One one tip I do suggest is uh, layer your um, name your lab layers appropriately because it may, it will make it a lot easier when you're working with loads of different um, images and you can even uh, command click on another and then group and it's a really good habit to get into. Um, it will just say it will just make things more organized for you. So you want to do sorry. Okay, so we've done that, and now you can import another image of your choice. I'm just going to go ahead and import the um, the studios logo. Position that about there. Yep. 
and then we're going to go do the same, right click, duplicate, and then we're, in this time we're going to go filter, blur, and then zoom blur, and then you want to put this little radial here, see, I'm going to put that about there in the middle, and then I'm going to shrink the blur, and then I'm going to press OK. See, all that seems to have done now is made the logo blurry, but then we rearrange the layer, and it gives it this nice um, glowing effect. So we're just going to put logo zoom blur. Oh, sorry. And you can go logo um, image. And then to save that, you go File, Save, and then it'll save it as a Piximator. Or if you're looking to export it to a document or um, other formats such as a web page, you want to go Export and PNG Portable Network Graphic, which is the best in my opinion. Or if you're looking to edit it with Photoshop later, click there. Okay, guys, thanks for watching that tutorial. That was Think Tech Tips.